Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's episode is I'm at the flea market, the car boot sale, swap meet, whatever you want to call it, it's in here. I have got 50 bucks. Uh, I'm looking for a rod and reel, some tackle. I'm either going to get ripped off or get a bargain, but we're going to get this fishing stuff and we're going to go for a fish. How you going, boys? <laughs> Today's challenge, I am not leaving this place without a rod and reel to go fishing. Um, seems to be pretty quiet right now. But hey, <laughs> we just got here. Come on, give us a bargain. I'm going to get ripped off big time, aren't I? We are on a reel. Ten bucks. Come on, let's find a rod for this baby. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? All right, all right. Looking for a nice beach rod. Too small. Right, we're doing pretty well here guys but I've got a bag full of tackle so what have I spent 15 25 dollars for a real tackle now I'm looking for a rod all right we found the rod Jarvis Walker where's your baby 10 foot check the eyes out Alrighty guys, we are done. I have got a rod, I have got a reel, I have got tackle. So, this is the car boot. I am heading out now. See ya. Alrighty you legends, so how was that flea market car boot sale? Right now we're down the beach, there's no one around, looks like there's some reef out there and out there. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this 10 footer rod is all I could get, the rest were no good. We're going to mash it with this uh, Super Cloud Ryobi SX4 Vintage with some mono on it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't explode on me. This is all the tackle I could get. So I'm gonna make a panoster rig. We've got some beads, swivels, uh, some long shank hooks and some sinkers. We need to catch some bait first and then, hey, we're gonna hook that baby up, try and get something bigger. Maybe a salmon, a mulloway, a snapper, a shark, who bloody knows. Let's get out here and uh, fish this baby. Oh, let alone, I did bring another rod and stuff. So it'd be a shame not to put that right out as well like we've come a long way but it's a little bit windy with a little bit of a high point here i'm gonna stick my rods so it's over these waves <laughs> let's get a fish man oh this is gonna be interesting guys we got the old girl she sounds pretty good though hopefully this rod's a little bit flicky i don't know if i'll feel too much bait on it but We'll catch something. Oh, look at that. Tremendous. Anyway, something I prepared earlier. So this is my bait rig. Oh. It's a little swivel up top. We've got a pan and oster there. Two hooks and a sinker. That's what I could get. Here's the little beads on the end of the hooks. If you can see that. 
got some prawn as well and uh hopefully we get something i don't know what the drag is on this baby so i'm a bit scared <laughs> if we hook up to something big oh my goodness it's gonna be on isn't it It'll probably spool me let's get a couple of beef babies out oh yes there she's windy boy get a couple of these around that's it Bring in some fish. We are on guys. Let's give this vintage stuff a bit of a go. Going back to the old school. Is that right? Feels pretty crap. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Woo. Doesn't cast too far. I wonder what I've got left on that. Come on. There's got to be something out there. I need some bait. Can't feel anything. It's a bloody broomstick. Oh yeah, that's a better cast. <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Seriously, can't feel anything, eh? There's whiting out there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to change tactics, guys. You're out there. Ooh. Yeah, we're on. That's a whiting. I decided to change sinkers because I thought I just need to get past this, all this little swell here. Uh, come on, he's coming in. Yep, I'm putting him on the big rod right now. The old vintage. First time this baby get a snapper or something. Woo! There she goes. Woo! Oh, that actually cast quite well. Oh my god, look how much line I got left. It's gonna have to do. It's gonna be a miracle. Let's lock that in place and we are set. There you go guys. We are set for a big fish. Drag. Oh my god, that's so sticky. Okay. I reckon that swell is gonna cause a problem, so I might have to improvise. Uh, think of something to uh, keep that rod out of the water, that line. It's only a 10 footer. I'll do that I reckon. Oh look at that, that's it. Now we're talking. Oh, 
it's as far as I can get it in. That's better. All the way up there now. That's the off. Can't tell. It's coming in. Oh, and we got a double header. There you go, guys. A double header to end the session. Oh, the bait session. And uh, now I'm going to get the uh, 15 foot out with the Saragossa. Hopefully we can get that rod to go off, but uh, nothing on this yet. I just thought I had a nibble, but yeah, nothing on that rod. We'll just keep trying and hopefully we catch something. Beautiful whiting. Look at them. Lovely. Come on. Alrighty guys, so I have got my favourite combo on now. My Saragossa with my sensor surf. I'm gonna use the red sinker. This is a heavier sinker than the green one. The same sort of deal, Snell. Uh, I've got my bait here. Look at that. Nice and fresh. I'm gonna change that water for him in a second. That is plenty. Then I'm gonna relax and wait for these rods to go off. <sighs> Fabulous. But, hey, there's got to be something out there, man. Has to be. Bomb this guy out as far as I can. These rods has to go off. Has to. We are ready, guys. Let's hear this drag scream. guys it comes that time where you've got to make a decision what to do so I've had one little hit on that I've had a herring and it's got off nothing on the big rod but look at that sunset absolutely beautiful uh, nothing all day hard work oh, I don't know where all the fish are today but um what do I do do I leave do I stay I've got firewood I've got clothes uh, Got my swag. It just feels really fishy. I just want to catch a fish. Oh, man, I've got no food at all though. Oh, I've got some shapes uh, and, and some herbs and stuff. I was going to do a catch and cook today. I, I can cook the cook the whiting, but I really, really want something else to cook up. But hey, if I have to, I have to. Um, stuff it. Let's camp the night. Let's fish the night. Leave tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed, hopefully something comes along, but I'm going to enjoy that and uh, wait for this bloody thing to zing. This one or that one. Alrighty guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to get it sorted out. I'm going to get my, uh, uh, my wellies on. Get the warm wellies on. It's going to be bloody freezing tonight. Uh, yeah, get a fire going just before I lose this sun as well. Uh, cooking wise, I might have to resort to 
a curry tonight but uh i'm happy enough not to eat but we'll see how we go i've got water wood yeah, and uh warm clothes so um will i sleep in the car will i sleep in the swag i am not sure but uh yeah it's one of those things Woo! get bloody cold wouldn't mind making a coffee actually yeah i might do that Is there a fish on there Getting taps, taps on the bait, probably herring. Be good to get a tailor. Something. Can't really tell with this rod, eh? What do we got on here? Is it just the bait? Oh no, what do we Oh, we got a fish! We got a fish on the vintage gear. <laughs> I couldn't tell. And it's a hezzer. Look at it, guys. Yeah, there is my dinner. Thank God for that. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's get this rod back out. Look at the bait still intact. Yeah, boy. Completely missed it. Wow. All right. So, oh, whoa. thanks, mate. Get this little sucker back in the water. Oh, oh. <laughs> how's that, guys? I've got, uh, oh, I've got dinner. I've got my pants halfway down to my ankles, and uh, I'm stoked. I've got some food to eat. Oh, this guy just settled down. Beautiful herring. Uh, hopefully, we can get some more. That vintage rod has been, uh, oh, vintage rod, vintage reel. It's been getting hits the majority of the day. That feels a big one. It's a start. It's going to be a good night. I can feel it, guys. Woo! Again, look. It's got to be a fish. Come on. Where'd he go? No, you're there. Oh, this thing feels strange. Oh, listen to it. <laughs> I don't think I hooked onto this one. This one feels light. It's taking my fish. Oh, that's promising, guys. Promising. Ah, oh, here we go. No, I've got a fish on there, guys. <laughs> wow, I can't tell with this mono. Just, oh, is he still there? Yes, no. Oh, we got another fish. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I've never been excited over herring ever. Not like this. Oh, they're pretty big too. Anyway, all right, let's sort this guy out and uh, get a bait back out. And I still got my, look at that, whiting right there. I'm going to hook that thing back on and get another one. Hey, where you going, mate? Come with me. Come with me. Wicked. Woo. So there you go, guys. Two herring. I think I'm just excited because I've got some uh, food to eat. I've got sandies, but I didn't want to eat them. That is my bait. Now it's time to put some blowies on. If you're thinking that rod's going off. The old snappy snap, shaky shake. Oh, yeah. We're all done. I've got a beautiful fire going. My little, little uh, stainless steel fold out. We've got the two rods out. I've just rebaited them. 
Um, I've got to clean this bench. Let's get this rice going and the curry sorted. I've got to fill up the fish, so I'll get all that done before I even film anything. But hey, the rods haven't gone off. Uh, it's a beautiful night out here, actually. Um, but something's got to take that bait. Has to. All right, let's get on it. Alrighty guys, on tonight's cooking segment, we're having a fish curry with some rice. I've got my rice, I've got my some coriander seeds in here, some uh, mustard seeds that I've crushed up. I'm going to cheat and get the old curry powder. Curry plant, look at that, beautiful leaves. And what else we got? Some turmeric here. We've got some onion and garlic, all ready to go. What's up? potato and carrot and some goddamn peas so I'm just gonna get this rice on and then I'm gonna fill it that fish get this curry on and I'm bloody starving gonna wash this rice guys I'm just getting all that starch out I usually wash it about three times just a quick one Is that a fish? Is that a fish? That's a fish. We got a fish here. Doesn't feel very big though. It? <sighs> Hopefully got a fish. Oh no. We get off. But this is only small. I think we got a fish, guys. <laughs> Just as I was going to get my rice on. Oh, don't tell me it's got off. Oh, what? Are you serious? Not unless it's super small. I can't see anything out here. Now we got a fish. We got a fish. Oh, I think we have. What have we got? Oh no, don't tell me it's a ray. We don't want a ray. Oh, it is a ray. Are you serious? The little shovel nose here. Look how that, that is beautiful. Beautiful specimen. Oh, there you go. You can actually eat these guys. But um, no, we're not going to do that. They're, they're just beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, let's get you back, mate. Oh, why couldn't you be a nice snapper? What have we got? Oh yeah, nice and easy. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here we go, mate. Come on. Let's put you back. Pick you up nice and gentle. There you go, he's off. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's try that again, eh? Oh. So where were we up to? Putting rice in, water, cook the rice, get the curry going. Knew that rod was gonna go off, but wrong species. Here we go. Starving. Starving Marvin. So, the curry I'm going to do on the coals. Ooh, at least I can watch the rods. Put the pot down, guys. Coconut oil. Put that in there. Garlic, onion. Smell it hurts already. Spices. We don't want to burn that, so we just leave up this top end. Put it in.
coconut milk. Curry leaf. I've already put salt in this as well. It was in my spice mix. I'll just let that uh, slowly cook. Put the peas and the fish is going in. I'm only doing two little fillets. Look at that. Beautiful. Mate, it would have been lovely if this was a snapper, mulloway, even a gummy shark. It would have been beautiful. Oh, those fillets are going to be lovely. I don't know why I cooked, <laughs> I cooked a feast for bloody a family. Let me have a taste. Mmm. That's going to be beautiful. Two minutes, done. Had a hit then on that. Come on, is the fish on? Feels weird. Ah, something small there, guys. Something small. What do we got? What have we got here? So I just had like half a bloody whiting on there and um, yeah, just took it. It's coming in now. Don't tell me it's another shovel nose or a ray. It's not a ray, it just didn't run. It's just a dead weight. Here we go. Oh, what do we got there? The little guy. It is a ray. That's not what we want. Okay. Put you back. There's my half a whiting. Oh, let's get him back, eh? So, what we'll do. So we'll just grab this uh, rod holder. And we'll stick that uh, barb in there and push the guy. Push the guy all the way to the water. There you go, <laughs> he's tiny. Oh, I don't want to hurt you, bro. There he goes. Woo! There he is, he's gone. Off. Woo! Another species we don't want. <sighs> okay, dinner is ready to go, guys. Just gonna put some rice down. Oh, I'm starving. Let me just get some curry. Look at this. Fabulous. Spoon that on there. And that looks delicious. And then I'll put the fillets on top. Probably enough to go around. Two rounds here.
Well, there you go, guys. There is my herring curry with rice, two fillets are on top. Got uh, potato, carrot, peas. It's all in there. Nice hearty meal on a cold night. I hope this rod doesn't go off. Let me finish my dinner. And then it goes off, it'll be great. But let's try it out. Oh, yum. That's beautiful, guys. On the beach. Woo, oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Throats like a bloody exhaust pipe now. Woo. That is delicious. Oh. You can't beat this, guys. But even though it's herring, but still, it's fresh, it's beautiful, it's cold out here. Ah. Get a bit of a tap over there, but was that the uh, swell? But uh, all good. Anyway, I am going to chill out, eat this, fly on the fire, just live life. How's that guys? I just reeled this in just then and look it's got an octopus on there. <laughs> oh, little guy. Oh there you go. Just leave him in here for a second. But how's that? He's gonna get off. Well he really wants that uh he really really wants that whiting. <laughs> Look at him, tiny little guy. They're bloody smart, those things. Oh, he's inking. Oh. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night, guys. No more hits, nothing at all. So I've left a uh, herring. And the octopus, I'm going to fill up the herring tomorrow, put that on, first thing, first light, and uh, maybe throw a twisty around, see if we can get a tailor or two. But uh, yeah, very, 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 very quiet. But I can't complain, we had some fun. Tomorrow's another day. That's it.